This is a quick walkthrough of what seedling is, because you might have to see it to really grasp what the concept is. So um, you see, I have Elm seedling enabled, and it says it's to build distributions from sites you are currently working on. So I'm still working on the interface fully, but functionally, it's it's all there. What you do at the moment is um, you see there's seedling distribution, there's seed bank, and there's seedling profile that this module adds to backup and migrate. So it's based heavily off of the uh, files directory, the, the backup and migrate files module, um, but with a little twist. So I can say we're gonna first you want to back up the database, and we're gonna back it up to the seed bank using the seedling profile. So I've already done this, but just show, you know, it happens rather quickly. It's going to take the database, basically dump it back to a folder that it knows where it's going to be. Hey, it did it. Cool. So the second thing you're going to do is seedling distribution, and we're going to do download. So I'm not going to do this. I mean, well, I can push it, and this will take some time. But you can see I've already downloaded seedling. So this is going to give you your entire system as a tar, uh, which, you know, it's just a, another form of zip. You can see it's downloading right there. Uh, so let's pull that up and see what it looks like. So I have that downloading. So here's what it looks like when I untar it. This is my Drupal site. It's cleaned out things like, if we go through here, there's no settings.php, so you're secure that way. You're not transmitting that information to another person. Uh, the use case of this module is I have a system that I'm using. Someone else comes along and says, hey, I'd really like to use that system. Uh, or, you know, at least test it out, play around with it. And currently I'd say, okay, yeah, give me a week or so and I'll bundle that up as a distribution. Um, so this allows you to obviously skip that part of the weeks of distribution. So before, when I kicked things out, you can see I said, hey, I want to add it to my seed bank. So there's this little idea of a seed bank here. So I have this seedling folder and it creates a seedling.mysql. Uh, in the future, we want to be able to kick out multiple seeds for multiple people based on time and all these wonderful settings. But for right now, it just kicks out a single seed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my seedling folder into, uh, I'm running MAMP here. So I'm going to copy that into this directory. So you can see that's going through and copying. And now I have seedling here. Okay, I'm going to go in because I know installing Drupal, it will always ask us. So I'm going to have my settings.php file. And now I'm going to go to localhost seedling. I only see that because I had it there before. So localhost seedling, so you'll see this page, typical Drupal installation. So if you use Elms and are familiar with it, you'll see a hey, Elms Alpha 3. So this actually comes along for the ride too because it's another uh, profile that comes with it. So I'm going to say, okay, I want to build seedling seed. I'm going to put in my database info here. Save a second. All right, so put in my database info. I'm just going to run through and do test, test, dot test, 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 test. Okay. Oh, yeah, hold on. Okay. Save and continue. Now what this is going to do is it's very similar to the Lullabot five-step uh, to Drupal distribution method, except it's automating it. So Ta -da. This is the elms.psu.edu site completely pulled down into desktop form in the time it took to do this video. Uh, I have all the, the content that comes with it. You have all the settings. And um, I also have the seedling seed, if you will. Uh, so it'll take a little bit of time to you know, rebuild the cache and whatnot. Uh, so the first page call is kind of slow after you do this method, but that's true with the traditional lullabot method. Um, so what I'm going to show in the in the next video is you know this loading in the background is so I've created a seed you can see I have localhost seedling here right and so this is kind of cool I, I can pull our entire site down work on it locally theoretically or I could you know pull it down and say hey this is distribution and I'm most of the way there uh, this did most of the steps that I wanted to do to package this up into a distribution anyway uh, it's a lot faster way of communicating to people in a Drupal way to say, oh, go and download these features and download these modules and download these themes, or here, I'll just give you this and I'll scrub my content. Uh, this is a lot faster. So next video I'm gonna show, you can use Seedling to make another Seedling, and it keeps going.